concerns that you basically have asked me uh, and I'm addressing some of these. Okay. And, and many of these things, I think I have to address in separate sessions and we'll have these sessions uh, now a little more often. Okay. See, how do you reduce the number of mistakes? Two things that I want to say here, uh, uh, some things that I'll just add, okay, apart from what I just told you about the strike rate. See, in case you're getting somewhere to 50, 50, okay, 50 right, 50 wrong. You, you attempted, let's say, 40 questions, right? Uh, 75 questions, 40 are right and 35 are wrong. Or you attempted 50 questions, right? And 45 wrong. You know, uh, this generally means that you have not had a good hold on this particular subject. Okay. And I'm sorry to say this thing, okay, but this is the best assessment. There's nothing wrong, okay? You are not your score. The score is only, you know, um, basically it is just a reflection of what you've done in the last few days. Okay. It is not your ego. Right? Don't take it to your ego. You've not done well. doesn't mean that you're not a great person or you're not a knowledgeable person. You're not capable, nothing of that sort. It is just that it is a reflection of what we have done. Sometimes you've done to a, a, a lot, but it is not a, an accurate reflection. It is not the right thing that must have been done. So there is, a, it basically, basically it is a, basically it is for course correction. Okay. If it is something like this. Okay. And I think you will all, we all start like this only, right? The number of questions, right? The number of questions wrong, but generally ballpark, it is similar. So what does this mean? Not thorough. Okay. Please do not make another assessment. Okay. This is not about guessing ability. It is not about guessing ability. Okay. Don't think that, you know, there are some tricks. No, this is not about tricks. You're not thorough with the material. Okay. Which is fine. So that tells us exactly what is the course correction. Okay. Let us ensure that we go back to that question. Take a look at our standard books. Were we able to sort of, if, did we, if we understood it really, really well, can we solve it? Because there might be a question, let's say in environment, you're studying about, you know, the polar stratospheric uh, clouds and, uh, you know, in Antarctic, what do you have that, you know, that ozone hole, I can probably ask you a question where it's like very straightforward. You'll be able to answer it. If there is a slightly conceptual question, maybe, you know, one of the options you're not very sure of. So what does that mean? Okay. I need to be a little more thorough, but let us say, and many of you are already getting to this particular point, but you have actually come from here. Right. It is not that, you know, you were gifted enough that, you know, you directly jump to a 70, 30 ratio, 60, 40 kind of a ratio, right? If you're getting a 70, 30 ratio, it's, it's kind of good or 60, 40 ratio, you're, you're on track. Okay. This is great. If this is the case, then it's not that you're not thorough. Okay. But there are certain aspects of that topic that you're not quite thorough with. Again, you know, basically figure out areas of weakness. And I'm not saying strength here. I'm saying weakness. Focus on your weakness. Ensure, find out which are the topics. For instance, if I say polity, maybe an emergency chapter, you thought that you knew, but regardless of how many questions you try, it looks like you're getting a 50-50 ratio, sometimes even less than that. That means that is a chapter that you have probably have to like make a little more of notes or, uh, you know, try to create some mental maps or something to ensure that, you know, even without reading it just before the question, you should be able to still solve that answer. Okay. If it is that, you know, you have to read it now only then you can, so you can, you can take that particular test. That means it is not thorough in your mind yet. Right. Okay. So that means what should I do? I should actually go and sort of master that particular topic to a certain extent that I do not need the short term memory help because trust me, uh, <laughs> short term memory, you know, we cannot keep everything in a short term memory. It is not going to happen. It is just not going to be possible. Right. We have to ensure that short term memory, you just remove short term memory. You try to ensure that whatever you can, a reasonable amount of material, we have to sort of internalize it in a manner that it goes into a long-term memory. Last minute may short-term memory, it, it'll all be like, you know, I don't know if you guys have watched this movie, uh, Hangover. In Hangover, you know, the one guy goes into uh, that, that uh, what is that place? He goes to a casino and then there is like all kinds of like equations flying around because he's trying to, you know, use mathematics to, you know, beat the casino uh, and beat the odds, right? Something like this, you know, whatever we learn is all going to be jumbled up and it is like flying around us. Okay. That is not a way that we want to do. So think about this. Okay. In case you're making mistakes, let's try to make the right assessment. Okay. And then you, it is time for course correction. Is it because you're not thorough or you're thorough, but then there are some areas. Okay. Just thinking that it's somebody got it right because of the guessing ability. Maybe one or two questions. Yes. Some, some things, you know, but trust me guessing. Okay. Guessing is just one thing. And again, I'll have a whole session on guessing. Okay. Guessing is all probability. Okay. If you can eliminate one. Okay. Let's say there is a, B, C, D. And, and, and the shortest answer is if, if you go with any, mini mini more or whatever it is. Okay. If you go with a, it's 25% chance, 25% chance, 25% chance, 25% chance. If I eliminate D, D is not the answer. What is it? It's going to be 33, 33, 33. If I say that it is also not C, then what is it? It's going to be 50 and 50. This is basic math. This does not go wrong. 
ओके एंड टू सेकंड गेस यूपीएससी ऐसा ही होता है एंड आई हैव सीन मेनी ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स आल्सो फॉर इंस्टेंस साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी गो विद ऑल ऑफ द अबव ओके नाइदर नाइदर ए और बी और नाइदर नन ऑफ द अबव इज नेवर एन ऑप्शन सी दीस आर ऑल थिंग्स इफ इट इज ट्रू फॉर द लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स आल्सो यू कैन नॉट से दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रू नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड आई रिमेंबर दिस थिंग देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु फॉलो स्पोर्ट्स टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंड देयर वाज अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट अ वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियनशिप in and and everybody knows about this thing because you followed it okay and and you know even and it's true for my own students they were actually posting uh, status updates towards the fag end of our class when india beat australia in australia at the gabba right and and you know to a certain extent you you follow uh, you know to that great extent but you go into the exam hall and you think that d cannot be an answer neither cannot be an answer despite the the fact that you know it really well right don't go with that it's just about probability can you eliminate to a, with a certain degree of confidence that c cannot be an option d cannot be an answer then you have it to 50 50 okay to go and say that some people are like very good at guessing and some people are not that's not the right way to think about it but if you can have a strong foundation and be generally a way person okay your odds definitely increase okay uh see and this is also another one okay there are, there are a couple of questions about stress and I, i understand that stress is setting in but three months prior guys three months prior just relax okay there is plenty of time okay plenty of time means what you have to like you know you have to like three months ke liye i don't even know like what you will do for whole three months okay that that is true okay there is only a certain amount of things that you can do after a point you'll actually get bored okay the only thing that you basically do is that you keep taking more and more tests and add more and more stress to it see uh, i am not the kind of person who uh, see there are two options here right for some the day of the test you know when i tell you ki why don't you take a test on wednesday okay uh, for you wednesday or tuesday night is like very 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 super productive okay and i know for sure that for many of you and this will be true for anybody who's like me okay as you get closer to the test your mind is not working okay nothing is getting internalized okay i am i am option b okay i am this kind of a person if you are this then great okay you try to utilize that to your advantage see for the persons who are here see and I, and i think i have to mention the stories to some of you at least uh, if there is something and this right from my university days i had i had my senior and he was my super senior in my very freshman year okay anthony ad and he told me this thing if there is something due on on wednesday just try to get it done on monday Okay, don't keep it on Tuesday because Tuesday, you know, you don't know what happens. Sometimes you're not well. Sometimes you know, in the 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 code will not compile. Uh, something or the other goes wrong, and you'll be a lot more stressed out, and you'll not be able to deliver. But if you can give it a Monday, you at least have one day uh, buffer. I always did things like this because I'm very scared that in the last minute I will not be able to deliver. See, there are a lot of people who work so much better than me in the last minute. I am not that kind of a person. If you feel that, just try to ensure that you're not doing it closer to the test. okay but there are many other things there are many other reasons for your uh, uh, for your uh, uh, for your stress okay for your there are many other reasons for your stress i'll i'll, I'll come to that see how do you retain concepts a lot better okay that you have studied earlier is is anybody else facing this issue okay two of you have messaged me regarding similar kind of uh, this thing that you have studied it and you know for sure that you've invested some time on it but you're not able to sort of recall it okay and and uh, you know uh, that is sort of affecting your confidence as well okay how do i you know um, so so i see um, and i i say this generally in, in um, memory it is not that some people are very gifted with memory okay and there are some who have better memory and there are some who don't have great memory i don't have a great memory okay uh, but see again this is in in a lot of people don't the people say ki study study not many people tell us how to study right uh, in my university we had all these courses to ensure that you know people can get the best out of themselves okay and i focused on how to study because i did not feel like i was extremely gifted at anything okay but given uh, the proper ideas on how to sort of implement these i i knew that i could succeed and i i took this this is what they say okay this is basically how your memory works as soon as you're done with a particular lecture it so turns out that um, you know you can this is all you can remember okay you can remember 100% of what has taken place in class but within a day or within an hour okay you're basically starting to lose and eventually it will come to a point where you don't remember much of it have you felt this i have done this it was done in class i have done assignments on this don't you feel that i i i feel this too so what i generally do is basically ensure that each time it actually tips further and further see by the time it is like you know the next day you'll remember only 50% of it okay now that is a problem so how do you do this thing frequent revisions okay even if you can do it for 10 minutes okay i i used to have this strategy in which like if i do something to see as soon as i'm done with the class uh, i i generally go ahead and revise it for like 10 minutes 
and I, I do have that because, you know, I have to like transcribe all the notes and I would have taken some things in my laptop and I have to like, you know, analyze it and organize it and all of that. So that helps sort of internalize it a little better. I take up that thing in the next day. So uh, zeroth day is when I, basically if I say zeroth day is when I study, I ensure that I take a look at it on the first day. Okay. The T plus one. And after that, I try to take a look at it three days hence. Okay. After three. Okay. Plus three. And I ensure that after this, this will be the seventh day. Okay. So the week. So from here, it is around seven. Okay. So I'll add another four. So you get the picture or like add another three. And then again, 14th day. Okay. And again, at the end of the month. And with this, I can ensure that I remember this, right? Uh, otherwise I cannot remember this. And same thing for you as well. If you feel like you have studied a particular chapter, right? Can I ask you a question? How many of you can tell me, okay, it is August offer after that. Was it individual Satyagraha after that? It's a Crips mission after that. Quit India movement after that. Gandhi goes on a fast after that. Pakistan day after that. Rajagopal Achari. After that, Desai Liyakat. You know, I have not gone through these things in many, 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 I don't know. It's been <laughs> some years, honestly, since I've actually gone through this. And I'm not even 100% sure that it is like 100%, right? Don't quote me on this, but you get the picture, right? Do you know how many times I must have revisited these to build that level of comfort? Okay. And this is just like one thing. There are so many things that we have to do. And, and, and the ones who generally speak to me on a regular basis, you probably understand that whatever you've gone through or you're going through today, I go, have gone through this as well. Okay. And I did not have the same sort of mentor or, you know, persons to sort of, uh, I used to just think that it is just me. Okay. It is just like, I'm not able to handle it. Why am I not able to handle it? Is it because I have a uh, lack of time? Okay. Because, you know, I was a working professional. I could only study in the early mornings, but that is fine. Okay. Um, see, um, not all of these things we are going to be able to, uh, uh, address, but because you're taking this, some things I, I'll just make a very quick note and then I'll elaborate these concepts in further sessions. See, first thing is don't run after the most difficult. Okay. Don't go, please don't go after all the mottos. If I'm sure that there'll be a particular, uh, booklet that comes out with like, you know, hundred different organizations and different events and their mottos not required. Okay. It's not the best bang for your buck. Focus on ensuring a great strike rate in the easy and moderate questions always. Okay. Some of the other sort of issues that you, uh, I've seen, you know, I've noticed you do is basically you read a lot, but you never revise. And when do you revise? See always every single day. The answer is every single day revise, 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 revise. In case you're a veteran, uh, apart from current affairs and current issues, everything is basically revision only. Okay. Enjoy it. Okay. I know the book gets boring after the first reading. Okay. And it gets even worse after subsequent readings, but what do you do? Okay. You want to ensure that whatever you have read does not fly away from your brain. Okay. Ensure that it sits somewhere. Okay. Uh, and I'll tell you one thing I used to revise early in the mornings. Okay. The first thing that I do is generally revise. And I used to do this thing because again, I told you, right? Like I am not very, uh, uh, the reason I used to do this thing is basically if I feel revision happens a lot quicker than reading something new, reading something new takes a lot of mental energy, right? If I wake up and I have like three hours with me, that's all I have basically. And then newspaper and things like that in that if after the first couple of hours, if I look back at how much I've done, what if I've done like 15, 20 pages when I have like 2000 pages to do, right? My entire day, not only during that preparation, but also once I go into office, I'll still be thinking, yeah, yeah, today I just like totally messed up. What was I doing? I don't want that. So once I start revising, I feel like, Ooh, I've just flown through like hundred pages. Today is a great day. And after that, whatever I do, it is the same thing that I must have done, but I stay in a lot more sort of positive and uplifted sort of mood. Okay. Another sort of issue that I generally see is that you're making notes. Uh, many of you are making notes for every single thing. In fact, like eight hours, if you're studying seven and a half, you're making notes. When are you going to read it? Okay. And are you going to make notes for every single thing that you see? Okay. And some of you, I noticed that you're not making notes at all. Are you telling me that there is nothing that you will need like more frequent sort of repetitions, right? See some notes, if you have, I keep uh, notes for those uh, topics that I feel like I am not going to be able to remember. Okay. And that requires more frequent sort of this thing. And I, I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you something. Okay. And the other thing is about consistency. Again, we'll probably cover it. Another thing. See consistency. When I, when I talk about consistency, all of you are studying every single day, but what you do should not be based on your day's motivation levels. It's got to be a habit. 
we wake up one particular morning we cannot be motivated every single day at that same level and keep that level of motivation level. your preparation and your performance cannot depend on your motivation levels you cannot stay motivated for all 3 months it is practically impossible to stay motivated for that long but what you can actually do is try to make habits okay whatever happens for instance i used to have this thing that you know uh, um, you know during my lunch breaks in my office i used to go and i had my anthro paper to sort of standard books that i wanted to get uh, reading okay i used to focus on that in that particular time when i used to go out okay evening tea i used to generally be with my uh, my colleagues or something like that but you know there are there used to be other breaks that i used to take at that particular time period i am expected to go through my phone and revise which national park is in which state or uh, you get the picture right these kind of things were always part of it so once i have that it is not about motivation if you ever ask me uh, do you feel motivated enough to go through which national park is in which state never i don't have that sense of motivation okay for that particular topic and i'm sure that you will have this too but what if that particular topic okay my performance on that particular topic depended on my motivation i'm never going to master it. so that is more about consistency okay and this is something that i've already covered uh, current affairs guys current affairs is a much bigger topic uh okay so i thought i was going to skip it but okay let's uh, one of you have just asked me should we make notes for newspaper uh first of all should we make notes for newspaper can you guys do me a favor uh, there is a question uh, there is a video that i have uploaded last year and you know in youtube i'll probably just link it here um or i'll just send you the link to uh, you should you be reading newspaper even in the last 10 days and i tell you like how important news is okay and how much newspaper has actually helped me in get you know my strike rate up okay there are things that i cannot do through compilations okay and i used to do it okay now generally a lot of the the kind of notes that i used to make from newspaper was more um, mains oriented okay but um, if i just read newspaper i felt that i am not able to retain things because i am passively reading i at least have to have a news uh, a pen in my hand i have to sort of underline things i have to circle things i have to cut that paper out all of those kind of things will help me sort of retain that thing better that is called active learning rather than passive learning so if you feel like you need to make some notes if it is if your question is uh, 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 just only for prelims um you take a call okay now it it is up to you whether you've been able to sort of take or internalize everything but i would still say that unless i know how well you make your notes uh, i cannot tell you whether you need compilations or you don't need compilation for the persons who have actually been doing the newspapers for a certain amount of time the booklets are now going to be that difficult okay the booklets are now going to be difficult i'll tell you uh, international relations is nothing new to me because that is that is the first paper i generally read okay but science and technology was something that i had to actually pay a little more attention to and you will find that kind of thing okay but it cannot be that the whole booklet is new you know each and every monthly compilation is around 100 pages and if every one of that thing is new it is going to be a big task to be able to master those right and what do we want to do we want to master them right we don't want to do anything that haphazardly okay i've read it i've gotten a decent idea decent sense of an idea that could even help you uh, uh, more so in your prelims uh, sorry in your uh, maybe you can write something on your mains but in prelims it's very difficult here yeah. okay so you have to have that sort of examples in what i used to do see basically can you see the spiral binding that i have and this is just one example and i think i've left this halfway what i used to do is that i used to take like four months and i used to have it spiral bound and after having it spiral bound before this page i'll have like two sheets of like a colored sheet uh, colored sheets in which whatever i read i basically if i feel like there is something that i'm not going to be able to remember i'm just going to make i'm just going to make a note on this and every time i go into this particular book i'm going to go through and uh, read this first and only then i'm going to go through if you see and i don't know if any of you guys can see uh, this is 16 and you know uh, very very short very crisp and very in probably like you know you cannot even decipher what i've written probably only for my eyes 16 page number 16 un declaration on uh, great my picture is not so clear okay on farming or something like that fao and ipad okay and this is like some time ago astana declaration okay almaty declaration phc related in fact i think this is a question that was asked i'm not i'm not quite sure manav okay if i feel like okay a human atlas okay department of uh, biotechnology you get the picture similarly i used to make this and i used to have this in like three pages or something okay all of these things why see for instance this is another example of something that i have done okay but uh, i'll i'll show you more examples of what i have done see there are many ways to sort of master something uh, what i'm trying to show you is the ones that i have tried to sort of use to ensure that uh, when i tell you that what when i do something i want to do it like really really well i cannot have something from this particular current affairs june 2019 vision page number 76 in that one corner there is something but i did not recall it that is see that i am i have a problem with okay i want to do not too many things but what i do it has to be like you know proper purposeful and something that i can recall okay so that is that
see in terms of stress also uh, some of you seem to be a little more stressed uh, and and my thing is and i, I think uh, one of the major reason is um, this is, this is something that I have to address actually, you know, it is like three months out and you still feel stress. Okay. I have been there. Okay. It, it does stress you, but I don't remember three months prior. Utna stress tha, okay. But as the exam, you know, uh, comes closer and, and, you know, office cars, you know, I used to have this thing as well. See, you are, uh, marks are not you. If let us say you've scored 55. Okay. That is not you. Okay. That is just a reflection of what you have done in the last, let's say a few days. At the same time, you have scored 118. It does not mean that, you know, you know everything. Okay. It is just a reflection that, okay, for this particular paper, what you have done is in line with your, this one. Okay. So do not bring this fear of marks. One day it is going to be high. One day it is not going to be high. Okay. Failure. You do not want to fail. And I tell you, right from 30 till 130, from 30 till 150, whatever is your target. Okay. This is not an easy path. You are focused here. Will I score this? Or in fact, let's just say 100. You're focused on 100. What if I don't get 100? Bhai logo, beno, right? First from 30, let's go to 35. That is still a win. Then from 35, let's focus on 40. From 40, let's focus on 45. From 45, trust me, you will again fall to 40. And again, then you will come back to 50. So this is a slow, slow path. And that's why I call it a slow growth. But this is sustainable growth. This is a consistent growth. And this will help you to a great extent. Okay, forget this number 100. Forget this final goal. Kuch hai nahi. June 6th ko bhool ja. Okay, there is nothing such, you know, there's nothing on June 5th and June 6th and all of that. Okay, your only thing is to focus on, okay, what is to be done today? What has to be done in three days? Okay, have a daily plan, have a weekly plan. I'm giving you like two tests a week, sometimes for some of you, three tests a week. Okay, it is not even about the test. The tests are immaterial. I don't even believe that any question is going to come from these tests. But what you do between these tests will matter because that is going to aid in you becoming a generally aware person. And becoming a generally aware person, again, is a path, right? Between the base and Everest, there are way too many steps to traverse. And that is the path, right? Do not think that what if I don't climb? Of course, you're not going to climb if you think about Everest. Okay. You know, in marathoning, we basically say that, you know, we just focus on the first, the next 10 steps. If you think about, I, you know, after finishing half the marathon, you, you think about 21 more kilometers, you are going to quit. Your mind is going to quit. So what do you have to do? You just focus on like, what are the next few steps? Just focus on that. There's more pressure that you add about that final day exam. You know, your today is getting spoiled. And I've noticed that in some of you, in your voices, in your words. Okay. The fact that, you know, you get good marks or you get bad marks or the night before the test that, you know, you're not able to sleep guys. That is because you're too obsessed with marks. Marks is just one sort of an assessment here. Okay. What is not done? It is basically telling you these are areas less revision required. These are areas more revisions are required. Okay. Failure. Failure is your, you know, they say, right. You know, uh, often repeated. Unless you fail, you don't know that you're improving unless you push yourself out of your comfort zone. So every time, you know, you, you face some discomfort does not mean only then are you growing. Okay. So, so take all of these away and then you try to see if you're really stressed. Okay. Take that, you know, that boj, you know, take that burden off. Okay. Put it on my shoulder. Okay. You just have to report to me. That's it. No? What do you have to do? So this one didn't go well. Great. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what went wrong. Were your mind, was your mind not there? Uh, last couple of days, you were not able to focus. What exactly went wrong? Let's try to focus and refocus.